place is creepy, man. So is his face. And not as we have narrowly defined ourselves, but as something greater than we could ever imagine. Something we can now only begin to glimpse. Guess we're headed down this way. I think we can use this as a shield or something. Holy shit. Yeah. Guess we can. A lot of enemies over here. Really? One of the big guys over there? God, shit. Luckily, he has these power balls. Whatever the hell. I would too, I mean, it wouldn't just take him in the face, but still. Oh, my bad. These things, you have to actually hit him on something hard. There we go. Look, Gordon. Look at what you are throwing away. Is it worth it? Yeah. Coming for you, old man. Um, I think we're coming for you, old man. Just don't know how yet. Maybe I have to take all of these balls out. That sounded really dirty. go. Oh, loading screen, that's a good sign. Probably means danger is coming, but still, it's a good sign. Headed on the right path. Good for us, some health. Oh, we'll go for a ride again. Whee! Although, we can do nothing now, so if no creature comes for us, we are dead. That does look good. Can do anything we're going through. Man, I have a lot of people captured here. I wonder where this thing's gonna take us. I see planes, I see giant walking bug thingies. Oh my. Just a gravity gun, it's gonna be tough. At least we're going to the top of the tower, and I guess that's where we need to go, so good for us. Hmm. Loading screen. might actually be the final part. I don't know. 
Guess we're gonna find out. I'll take him from here. Don't struggle, it's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. Yeah, I'll make you sorry. We're unarmed now, so we're totally screwed. Inhabited by vast meteorological intelligences. Worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Green. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend. Then you deliver yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with the Combine. <laughs> Dr. Green. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex, honey... Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Breen, you let her go! Yeah, it's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. If that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. Oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. <laughs> Don't struggle, honey. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, see ya. Judith, what do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here! They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please! I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't... Hurry! Dad, hang on! You fool! Watch out, he's gonna... No. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, look after my father. Don't you worry. 
Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. My girl. Yeah, let's go kick ass. Without a weapon. Gordon, we haven't known each other very long, but I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you. Well, thanks for coming after me. Hey, listen. That's him. So weird, man. Gordon never talks. There he is. Really one sided conversation. He's still making friends. Good for him. Oh, a weapon. Damn it, not again. I wonder where he's going. This is the Citadel's dark fuel reactor. It powers their tunneling entanglement device. We'll never have a chance like this again. We've got to stop Dr. Breen. I can't shut it down. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. We'll have to go so I'm guessing it's up to us, right? Get in the elevator and I'll let you in. Don't forget to charge up your suit. She was worried. We got this. No problem. Do your worst, Gordon. But be careful. We'll be fine. Right? Depends on what we're facing. Just the old dude, we'll be fine. If it's something else, uh, I don't know. It's Dr. Freeman, there he is. Dr. Freeman, you really shouldn't be out there. At the moment of synapse, as I teleport, this chamber will be bathed in deadly particles that have yet to be named by human science. Perhaps when I have the leisure to do the work myself, I'll name one of them after you. That way you won't be completely forgotten. What a dick. Oh, I see a way. Close to the edges. But it's okay. These are cool, man. Bouncy balls. I don't know what you can possibly hope to achieve apart from your own. Somebody shooting me. Ooh, a lot of people are shooting me. <laughs> My shot. Now I know why this is everybody's favorite weapon. Best clear. Now, definitely. I warned you this was futile. He's bluffing, Gordon. Don't listen to him. Guess that's not a way out. To go higher. Great. Oh no, Green started his ascent. Does that mean I have a time limit? Where are we going? Keep going. Yeah, lady, no worries. 
Fuck you, dudes. Trying to heal over here. Shooting at me. That's better. I could have told you that was pointless, Dr. Freeman. Go, Gordon. I just want to shoot that guy in the face. Annoying commentary. It's like a Pexy driver. Pexy gamer. Are you still with us, Dr. Freeman? Not for much longer, I think. If Ooh. only you had harnessed your boundless energy. Reach the top, but had to stop, and that's what's bothering me. We're here. So now what? Shoot at the thing? I hope you said your farewells. No. I think we have to hit the ball. Power ball in the middle. Go back, yeah. Freeman. You we got have it. No idea what you're doing. To destroy the core. It's power station. That's a song of the power station, but none of you guys will know that because it's really old. But anyway. I think we got this. As long as my health holds on, just focus on this thing. Everything shaking. Especially my control. Freeman? Is it really that time again? It seems as if you only just arrived. You've done a great deal in a small time span. You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary times. Hmm? <laughs> Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If and when your time comes round again. I do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. I trust it will all make sense to you in the course of... Well, I'm really not at liberty to say. In the meantime, this is where I get off. What the fuck? That's the end. Talk about a cliffhanger. Jesus. Alright. Oh, I was gonna say, that was freaking awesome, man. I mean, whether you're a gamer or not, everybody knows the Half Life games, man. It's, it, it's for a reason. It's amazing. I really love this, man. I'm gonna do the episode 1 and 2 and, and Portal and everything on Orange Box. It's, it's just so cool. I just hope they will remake Half-Life 1, you know, the original one, in HD or something like that, because I really love that game as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Me and my friend did, well, a lot. A lot of fun with this game. Some frustration, but mostly fun. See you guys in some other videos. If you want me to play a game, any game, just name it, man, I'll do it. Chances are I already have the game, so it's always an option. And I enjoy it. See you guys in my next videos. Till then, latest.